Occasionally, people show up, as you know, to the studio. My dear friend, Phil X, Woo! is here in person. Never been. Never been. First time. Never been here. And then Rhett called me, and Rhett's like, oh, I'm on my way over. I just so, knew. I had yeah. a, it was some kind of intuition. Okay, so we're like, what here. are we going to do? For, we're going to make a video together. What kind of video are we going to make? So we're just going to kind of make it up, and it's going to be a bunch of different things. We're not sure here. But Phil is gonna sh- was just showing me some... Of this insane Greek music that he plays, because he plays the bazooki. Talk about the bazooki, about this instrument. So b- back in the I don't know in the in the twenties or something, the bazooki had six strings, so it was three pairs. So like think of a twelve string. Was it D A D? D A D. Dad, dad, baby. Yeah. And then, my brother has a, has a bazooki. See, I have a, I have my dad's six string from the forties. Okay. And wow. it, it's got eight pegs. Because I guess they they were all you know like mandolin pegs yeah. they're all yeah. connected right right yeah so but it had six, eight pegs but only six strings the nut was six strings it's a really skinny neck like yeah like a broom handle cut in half yeah 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 and then Manoli Suetis was a, a guitar player that started playing bazooki and he's like this isn't enough strings so he made it eight so it's tuned kind of like uh, I believe it's like wait so like a C F and then an A and then a D. Okay. So kind of like, but this phrase, like you could do this, you could play, you could play like Stairway to Heaven on the okay. top four. But please don't. Yeah, no. That's no, why. we love Stairway to Heaven, but. Um, we do, don't we? We love Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> the solo, especially. One of, our, one of our favorite videos is Stairway to Heaven. So, and then he, so he could uh, incorporate more voicings, more more triads, more, a whole bunch of stuff when he changed, and then he just, everybody went with the eight string. Bazooki, it's been that way ever since. Okay, but part of Phil's incredible right-hand alternate picking traps are from playing the bazooki, which has a lot of... Yes. Well, should demonstrate some of the type well, of songs that, I mean, that, gonna, that, you, that you do. Bazooki stuff is usually high, but on an acoustic guitar, I would play it low. So okay. the, this is a, 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 a Manoli Suati song that goes something like... We were talking about that over, right? <laughs> Man, my hands are tired. But do the weird thing, that that, that first fret thing. Though, okay, so this doing. is this is a like a, this is a <laughs> do the weird thing. The thing with this this is the thing that got bazooki music really like they the people like to dance and they like to party and the song would start slow and then by the end of the song it was like it's way fast, way way know. faster. Yeah. So but that's what uh, that's almost like how playing got really good. Yeah. Because you're playing something like. So the one you're at, <laughs> the lake that, that I played earlier really that you liked, it was kind of like a... Actually, in a lot of Sicilian music, when I'd go to these weddings, yeah. they would do the same thing. Yeah. They're, they would play these lines, and they'd keep speeding up, speeding up. And, and then everybody's you know, smashing plates right. and throwing things. Chairs are in the ceiling. It's crazy. Can you slow that down? I want to see exactly Play that one lick yeah. there, yeah. That, okay. that weird lick. That is the weirdest thing. So fingering. the thing is, is because you don't have enough fingers for the five frets, right. you slide one over. So it's like... That is the... <laughs> That's amazing. And then you do the That's pivot note thing, too. Very hard to do. Okay, yeah. wait, but play... Now, speed that up. Play that slow and speed that up. Now. That's the 
most awkward <laughs> fingering I've ever seen. Seriously, I think it's the most awkward feeling I've ever played. Is that? Is that? It's a. It's. it's there's just no other a, way to play it though, right? No, there, there, there really isn't. Um, wait. I don't know why would I. I why know. would who would but come up is, with a list? This is like interesting that? though because I've I've been a fan of your playing for years. Thanks, I man. Can, I can see how <laughs> that type of thing has informed some of because you have some of oh, the yeah. most insane out there licks. I started on guitar and then incorporated bazooki. Right. See, when I was 11, my dad wanted me to take bazooki lessons so I could learn songs. And then I fought tooth and nail. I don't want to play bazooki. Right. But when I was 17, I was it was my own conscious decision to say I'm going to take some bazooki lessons because there's something about so it. You, you go can to the see bazooki how, teacher how hard. in town, right? There was a Gas Filipeos. He was a bazooki teacher in town. Yeah. And he had a whole music school, but you can see how the attack of the pick is you could hear it, right? Like right yeah, yeah. in front of me. Right. You can hear how it's not like there's no like you water down picking. You're like really attacking Aggressive. the strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that's where that whole bazooki thing came from. And that's what I incorporated into my playing as a guitar player. And all my buddies were like, let's, let's, one day they're like, what the hell did you do? Your picking is insane. Right. And I was like, I took some bazooki lessons. <laughs> Bazoo what? Mm -hmm. They don't know what that is. But in the, the timing, there's like seven, eight time, weird timing in Greek music that yeah. was natural to me because I grew up listening to it the whole time, my whole childhood. Yeah. So when you go start playing it, that kind of thing, other guys, they're like, I'm not taking bazooki lessons. Okay, so, really count. all right, so we're going to watch the transition now from Phil to electric guitar. We're going to go in the ISO booth and watch kind of what he does, and you're going to see some of these techniques, but you're going to see him rock out. Okay. Phil's playing my new Rick Beato special double cut Pelham Blue. Rick Beato. With eights on it. Eights. And he's going to rip through my new Park 18 watt head, which sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Did though? I that's did like a, that's like a Phil special. Oh yeah, line. and in A, in, okay, we have a, a drill song. It's called uh, "I Wish My Beer Was As Cold As Your Heart." So I yeah. do that in E. So having having, I was kind of transposing to A for a second there. So. It was <laughs> Tell us about those kind of licks, because I love it when you do those kind of licks. Phil oh. and I are, wait, we, so we are old, old friends. We talk all the time about this stuff. Mm. We haven't seen each other in a long time and everything, and we, but we talk about these kind of things, but this, I can actually see, watch him do it now. So, right. oh, yeah. so, uh, so tell me about how you incorporate these open strings and do all that stuff in there. Uh, you know, Because it as, has this like, kind of liquid sound to it. Liquid. Yeah, I like that. I <laughs> love that. Um, I, was, I was jamming with a, a banjo player one time. I was just warming up for a show, and he heard me warming up, and he kind of walked in playing a banjo, started doing his licks. And I heard all these open string things that was kind of like it was a, an eye opener for me. And with 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 guitar, you don't have you can some some chords. Say you play in the key E, you got a, lo a lot of open strings you can use. But I was as I was going down the neck, so it was kind of like. A, <laughs> So I'm hitting the flat five because yeah. I love the flat five. So what I'm doing that sounds like a pedal steel and a banjo it's, it's, it's together. Like your first finger kind of becomes the open string. Well, do so it that, that slow that, though. Yeah. Okay. For us mere mortals. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
that is. Uh, Thanks for letting me do the slow. It was kind of like a warm up. No, that was amazing. So actually, the, but it's really intricate. The decision on which where the double stops are and the triple stops, though. The timing wise. Yeah, because you have you some have like five little groupings and yeah, stuff. Exactly. You got you got a bunch of odd groupings. You know more. One more oh, slow. Ricky, you Come know it is. <laughs> No, do it slow. Do it slow again. One okay. more time. It's like so, a chicken pickle. Like dude, it, it's, it is, but, dude, but these eights are picking. crazy, man. Daddy's going sharp. I like to find things where uh, I've done something, so it's time to do something else. But do I really want to spend time on something, com coming up with something so, completely okay, different? Okay, but you also do this with, with pentatonics, too, where you kind of, where you play them up the neck in these, and you add in some of these chromatic things Yeah, so I love too. chromaticism. So yeah, love that give shit. us an example of something like that. Um, That would be something mm -hmm. like... Uh, so, say we're doing like. By the way, I just have to say that the guitar sounds amazing, clean. You hear that bell sound to it? It is. There? It's really it like. Great. Yes. Hello, P90. Yes. Turn down. P Phil and I both love P90, so does Rhett. We love P90s. Tell, it's, explain why P90s are, are the superior pickup. To, to me, I love. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I use the word anger. Because they sound like an angry rock and roll pickup. They're like an angry humbucker. It's angst, <laughs> right? It's angst. They're an angry but then, single coil. <laughs> for, but I'll tell you one thing, though. The work in the volume on a P90 is yes, a very special that's, thing. To, to yeah. me, that's where it really shines. Yeah. So the rock and roll for me is on 10, and then when you back it off to like 7, you get like a telly-ish kind of yeah. tone. And then when you turn down, you get the glassy clean sound. The glassy and clean I, sound I've is had really many great. people come up to me and say, hey, what's your clean sound? I'm like, <laughs> yep. five. That? <laughs> but it's also why we all like PAF so much because the PAF was developed off of the P90. They were essentially just trying to make a double coil P90. See, I didn't know that. No, dude. Okay, so wait, so so give us some of this double, this chromatic, uh, the pentatonic stuff. Okay, so um, a, a good one would be like just something simple like, which is basically that's yeah. the pentatonic that everybody knows. I yeah. spread it out so I can get more notes per string. Yeah. Okay. But then I want to do, what if I, right? Yes. I'm getting the flat five and the five, and yep. I'm also getting both thirds here. Yes. So, that kind of thing. Okay, now crank up some gain with that. Okay. So the other thing is slowing it down and then hearing both all the rubs. So right. I do this like like a. That kind of thing. Yeah. So that comes from, again, I love dissonance, but it, it's got its place. You can't like, hey, play a really cool melodic solo. And you're not going to throw in <laughs> dissonance in that. Right. And, and on that format. Or so what would you tell someone who's maybe trying to break out of the pentatonic box and do some of these more creative chromatic licks it's what's what's happening is, is you have to stop looking at it a certain way and open up how you're looking at it because I, I i do stuff like um for instance this isn't very chromatic but it's say you're in the key of e again i'll stay in e to keep it easy you're hitting six notes right i'm taking a photographic image and just moving it around yeah so i'm not even listening to the notes at this point mm -hmm. but Sonically, it ends up sounding pretty cool. But what, and then if you move that around, say you can't move it everywhere. For instance, it's here. That's wrong. But if you move one over, you get that. So taking it, a photographic image of a lick and moving it around and seeing where it sounds good, that's one thing. But if it doesn't sound good in one thing, in one area, it's just adjusting two of the notes. So I change a ton of notes. And sometimes people go, that sounds like Phil, and some people... Don't. Okay, so when you're playing a sound like this sound, when you crank it up, talk about how this makes you play some. Just play for a minute here, okay. just, and how the sound actually. You yeah. play certain kinds of things because of the sound, though. So just right. rip, rip for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> One 
one lick that you just played where you slid up, slid back down. What what was that? Okay, so that's basically taking the pentatonic boxes and just changing the order on two strings and then adding a slide so it doesn't sound like an exercise. <laughs> So just they're all pentatonic pl- boxes. You yeah. can add a flat five if you want to, just to make. Well, you're adding, but you're things. adding those different groupings though again. It's the groupings. Yes. That's what it is. But you're, now groupings. you're doing it with the slides though, and the yeah, slides so make it even sound weirder. More of a lick too. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about rhythm playing though too. When you're playing with a sound like this, when I'm doing rhythm, I, I like to find stuff that's gonna also. By the way, hold on. I just want to say this. So Phil does a lot of session work. He's playing on many, many thousands of records that you don't even know about. But if he's thanked in the credits, then he actually played the guitars. So I'm just that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna say who, who's whose guitar parts you replaced. But right, right, right. Okay. We won't talk about that. No, yeah. Okay, so rhythm, so go on with your what you're saying about rhythm stuff. I like again, uh, open strings are, are, are such an amazing tool to incorporate. Like it's a, a, you know <laughs> play with the drills and stuff like that. I love it. The other thing too is a lot of people have a drone note and they play notes on top of it. Yeah. I also play the notes below it. So you yeah. get that because you run out. You run out of space. Right? <laughs> This I have a very uh, this is a this is my tremolo pedal. Right. <laughs> I love that, dude. I love that. Okay, so Phil, talk about your new drills record that's coming out. Okay, so the drills record is uh, we put out volume one, stupid yep. good lookings, and volume two. Again, we're staying with this theme that there's a different drummer on every track. Mm. So on the new record coming out, we have uh, Ray Luzier from Corn, and we have Tommy Lee's on it. And a whole like I got Liberty DeVito on it. I have Tico Torres on a track. Well, that's that's what that is. No, what's really cool about Tico is that we were on tour and we hit Vegas, and I'm like, by the way, Phil plays with Bon Jovi. Okay, so for those of you that don't know that, like we haven't. There are five people right now going. What happened to Richie? (laughs) (laughs) Wait a minute. Have I been been playing? Phil's been playing with Bon Jovi as long as Richie was in the band, pretty much. No, 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 not that long. I'm just kidding. How, but how many years? It's, seven it's years still, or so? Seven years, yeah. Seven okay, years. seven years, okay. So Tico, we had a day off in Vegas. <laughs> you like that? We had a day off in Vegas, and I call, and Tico loves his days off. Right. So I call him and go, hey man, we have a day off in Vegas. If I get a studio, will you come in? Where'd you go, like and, a Palm or something like no, that? No, 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 I, I just a friend of mine, it was uh, the tone... So you said, you said so you said you actually coaxed him out of having yeah, a day I'm off. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you know, I know you want to go golfing or something else, but if I get a studio, will you come in and play drums on the drills team? And he goes, I do anything for you. <laughs> He's got a really low voice, <laughs> and it was, and he came in and he crushed it, man. And then uh, weeks later, we did two sold out nights at uh, Madison Square Garden, and went to the power plant, and invited. Liberty DeVito would come play drums on a track and he crushed it. Like, I love Liberty because he's like this... Because his name's Liberty. Uh, yeah. There's, cause, and there's a lot of Liberty <laughs> in his playing. But he also um, <laughs> so, like, plays like a kid. Yeah. And that fire, it was, it's so evident on the track. It's, I mean, I love drums. I just suck at drums. But getting to play with all these drummers... I tried to get Phil to play on my drums, but he's like, nah, I suck at drums, so I'm not going to play. Dude, I'll totally play drums. Okay, so play us the last lick on our way out here, Phil. <laughs> Okay.